being a part of that purpose and that mission, it wakes me up in the morning. It, it, it motivates me to walk through these doors every day. I feel like I am a part of something, something really special. And she is. Yes. <laughs> she is definitely part of something special. The Baltimore School for the Arts, right in the heart of Mount Vernon. If you walk by, sometimes you can hear the music coming through the windows, and you can look in and see people painting, but you may not have known that 400 young people study there every day. Their alumni are so oh, impressive. I know, I know. I, you know, I just recently moved here yes. seven months ago, so I didn't know that the school was here. I didn't know the caliber of students right. that they put out into the world. I didn't know that that was right here in Baltimore. Of course, we've heard of Jada Pinkett Smith. I'm a Project Runway person, so Christian Siriano. I didn't know that they were even from Maryland, let alone went to school right here in right. Baltimore. And Tupac. And Tupac, yeah. Uh, yeah. Tupac, yeah. Jada Pinkett Smith, they were in class together. And it so. must be so amazing for the students that are there to think about, you know, the alumni that went before them because it does fill them with hope that if they did it, you can too. Absolutely. And I think Tracy, the actress I talked yes. to, she said it best. It gives them resources that not every student mm -hmm. gets, you know, mm -hmm. especially in a city like Baltimore when they're looking for so many ways to get children involved and engaged and to do, you know, more with their life than they may not normally And do. I loved what Tracy said. She said, even if you don't go into the arts, it is a way to learn about yourself by studying the arts. You gain so much because right, yeah. 400 young people right now studying there, the odds because there, it's a tough world in the arts, yep. no matter what area, music, fashion, it's very few make it. Mm -hmm. But by studying it, you learn so much, you grow so much. Yes, and one part of the interview that we didn't see, she said that when she went off to college, she felt so advanced, even mm, in college, wow. because of the training she got at Baltimore School for the Arts. Not to knock Howard, she said, but <laughs> yes. that's just how great the training is. And I'll say, she's incredibly humble. I was so thankful to have so much time with her, and I said, I know you're famous, you have to go. And she was like, well, you're famous, you're on WJZ. She <laughs> talked about, she talked right, about our tower. You I was didn't like, know you oh. were famous. Yeah. <laughs> she calling me, she, her calling me famous made my whole day. And the <laughs> wonderful thing if you know if you have young children out there, the wonderful thing is it's a public school. So you have to audition to be, okay, be accepted. That's what I was but you don't pay a tuition. Right. We support and I'm so proud that we do. Mm -hmm. We support these young people studying the arts that they have talent in. Yes. Yes, and the director told me that those students they go to school for longer than any student mm -hmm. in the city mm -hmm. because part of their day they are studying what they love and then they have to do like the math and the English yes. and all that Absolutely. stuff. So they course. have a very long school day so they're very dedicated and I was so impressed going in there just like the sheer talent from these students. It's really like adult level, expert level and they're just kids. That's right. So, yeah. like they're learning right. discipline when it really matters. Yes. Great story Jessica. Thank, Thank, you, Thank you so yes. much for being with us here on WJZ at yes. 9. Love to have Great you. Great story. All right Tim, sing or dance.